Hello guys, what's up? So in today's video we're going to teach you how to properly set up your Dazzle, which is that video capture card that you saw me using during that Super Mario Galaxy video, which had awesome graphics. So here's how to do it. Okay, so first thing you'll need is a television set, of course. You're going to need one with uh, AV inputs, you know, like the uh, yellow for the video and red and white for the audio. Right is for the red and white is for the left. You'll need a computer. Right over here. I'm using my 2006 uh, Dell and Spiron 1521 laptop. Only 1.8 gigahertz. I recommend getting the much more uh, powerful versions like the 2.8 or 3.0 gigahertz because it will be better in recording uh, your data rate which I'll explain in a bit. Okay, so this is your Dazzle. You can buy these on eBay uh, or uh, Best Buy or Future Shop. Uh, this is the HD one, the black one, that you pay. I paid uh, $89 for that one. So this is what it comes with. It comes with your Dazzle capture card, which is right over here. It has your composite units. The one between the red and the yellow is your S-Video unit. So that records a much more higher quality video. Uh, you have this one here. This is a CD that you uh, have to install for uh, Pinnacle Studio 14. This is your software that you're going to need to uh, use your capture card. Uh, it comes with uh, hardware, uh, warranty, customer support, and as well as what you need. So unfortunately it's not complete so you're going to need uh, more items that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need an RCA video cable, RCA audio cable adapters, and an S video cable which is uh, optional. Okay so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need like some adapters that has a male and two females and you're going to need three of them. And this one here is a um, another adapter coupled with a coupler, which has one male and two females. So, what you need to do is put one of them on your inputs. So, this is yellow. This is red. And this is white. Okay, perfect. Okay, now the Dazzle should work with any system that has a composite unit. Uh, you know, the Nintendo 64, uh, the PS1, PS2, PS3, uh, the Nintendo GameCube, uh, Nintendo Wii, Xbox, and Xbox 360. I believe it does work for the NES, the SNES, and the Game, uh, the Genesis, but I'm not sure how to actually hook one up. So. Now that you have your uh, adapters on your uh, TV, you want to take your RCA cables that you have on your cleaning console and you want to put them on your TV. And finally your yellow. Make sure that these are all connected properly. Also what I did forget to mention that you're going to need double-ended RCA cables right over here. So take your Dazzle, put it on the side here, and connect these into your other uh, piece of the adapter. Like so. So that's what your setup looks like. Turn your dazzle. Okay. Now, take the other end of your wires and hook it up to the dazzle. Which I'll do right now. I've got white, red, yellow. And here's the S-Video cable, which I really can't seem to figure out just yet, but 
you don't really need it right now. Anyway, so, <clears throat> get your computer. Anyway, so here is your uh, computer. When you install that disk I just showed you earlier, this is what it comes uh, with uh, Pinnacle HD Studio 14. So, uh, I'll show you the, the setups that I have, so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Okay, so, just go to uh, Video and Audio Preferences. Takes a while to load up. Here we go. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. Enable hardware acceleration. Like so. Anyway, so the problem with Dazzle is that uh, when you record gameplay, sometimes it'll either lag or experience a lot of fast forwarding. This pissed me off so much times. Uh, because I wanted to upload my first <laughs> YouTube video on that, but it took me at least 15 to 20 tries to actually get a perfect one that you just saw. This is the video I recorded uh, a couple of days ago. I thought I was going to upload this on YouTube and I decided to not to. So, I'll give you a demonstration of what I mean by constant fast forwarding and lagging. So you hear the video is very choppy. See what happens, see what it is? It's fast forwarding. See it's not, and even the audio is not in sync. And then it goes really slow so it can catch up. So, uh, what you're going to have to do is uh, the USB port, it's the best bet is to um, plug it in in back of your computer. And you'll see the Dazzle power up. Also, if you're using a laptop like me, it's best to uh, plug it in while you're doing this because it takes so much of your battery power and that ex also experiences a lot of lag and make sure uh, you have the least programs running in there because that also contributes to um, a very choppy video quality while well, you're, you're recording and you're recording so I think that should be fine now we'll go to import while it's loading we'll get the Wii. Okay, yeah, make sure. Haha. <laughs> you can see me right over here. Hello. Go to Dazzle. Which you see right here. And make sure it's on video composite. So you don't see any input signal now, but uh, you're gonna see just a bit. So turn the TV on. Turn the gaming console on. And there you go. It's recording. Okay, so here is my screen. You see it right over here. So this is the mode. That was talking about and during the comments of uh, the video that I just uploaded on the Mario Galaxy. So this is what you have to do for your preset modes to avoid all those constant fast forwarding and lagging. So here is your mode. Okay, so you want to put on custom. Set your compression codec to MPEG-2. And you want to down your data rate to 4.0. I believe 7 is the maximum it goes up to. It actually goes up to 10. What the data rate is, it gives you uh, the best quality video. Uh, but it does take up a lot of space on your computer. So this is what it is. Select a data rate for which you would like to capture a video. A higher rate gives you higher quality but takes a lot of space. So um, 
if you want the highest quality videos, you really have to have a high performance computer. So uh, what you can do is just put AVI and it will record probably in 720p videos. The problem is with my laptop is that it is a um, 1.8 gigahertz so it doesn't really do well after it's set to more than 6. So what I usually set it up to is around uh, 4. hard to do this one-handed. There we go. Sweet. And all you do, start capture. We'll uh, test it out. So you can see it's starting to record and stop when you need to. Stop capture. Okay, perfect. So now you go to exit, you shut this off, uh, yes, and here's your recording, and you just play it and And that's it. That's what I was just recording for the last 15 seconds. So all you do is you can edit your movie by going on to edit and uh, fool around with the settings. And then you can make your movie. Um, now if you go to edit right here, show you how to record voiceovers if you want. Where is it? Hang on. Okay, so I found it. So uh, if you want to record or edit your own video you can just go on to this um, little icon here uh, that has the camera and you just go to the scissors and you can be able to trim your video clip if necessary now if you go to uh, this one here this is your audio voiceover so all you do is record and you can be able to record your gameplay well as you're talking right now He's actually recording. Yeah, but the problem is with Dazzle is that it doesn't record your commentary until after the video is made. So uh, this destroys your video commentary a bit, but I guess it shouldn't be too bad. If you probably saw during the video, um, let me just uh, get it out of here. Uh, the data is stored on my videos. So you just go to my videos and there you go, all the videos that you captured are stored there. So I'll just give you an idea of how much, uh, this is actually 6.74 MB which is not that bad. Uh, if you have AVI uh, quality, it's the highest quality but you're going to expect at least to have um, couple of gigs of bison size. So this has also a direct uh, uploading feature to YouTube but unfortunately it, uh, it obeys by YouTube's old 10 minute rule. So uh, to make your movie you just make the movie here and upload it to the web and it will go to on it'll upload on YouTube. So you just go to create. I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to upload this video because <laughs> uh, you've seen it. So starting the upload server. So make sure it's ten under ten minutes. If it's over ten minutes, I recommend um, uh, editing the file on Windows Movie Maker and saving it to your desktop, and then uploading it to YouTube directly. And there you go. You just uh, put all your settings, and that's it. So I hope this uh, video is quite enjoyable and um, very informative. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.